Developing tonight in Phoenix, a search for answers after the bodies of three people are found at a home. One of them, a young child. Police are calling this a homicide investigation. ABC 15's Venton Blandin is live near 16th Street in Dobbins, hearing from neighbors tonight. Vinny. As you can see, Javier, Phoenix police are still on the scene tonight investigating. People who live on this street near the home where police say those bodies were found tell us that discovery was shocking. The Cliff Castle chopper hovering above a home near 16th Street in Dobbins. We're a very peaceful, quiet neighborhood and uh, this is all new to us. John Conesales has lived in this neighborhood for the last 30 years, but says what he saw early Tuesday morning was alarming. The security cameras, three cars, police cars going by at high speed. Phoenix police showed up at the home before the lunch hour to do a welfare check. They began searching, uh, looking through the windows over the fences of one of the local houses and they found what they believed to be two victims. Sergeant Brian Bauer says police eventually found a third person dead as well. Neighbors tell us a woman, her boyfriend and a boy younger than 10 lived at the house moving in less than a year ago. Investigators would not confirm those details, but did tell ABC 15 the bodies of two adults and a young child were discovered. It's sad. Only because I waved at the lady, you know, because I live here, we wave, we wave at each other, you know, and I acknowledged her coming up the street because I was working in my yard. I said, you know, and to think that that's the last thing he saw is, is heartbreaking. Police confirming there were obvious signs of gunshots on the scene, but they would not elaborate. This is too ugly. It shouldn't happen. <laughs> Especially the little boy. He was innocent. He's got nothing to do with it. Phoenix police tell us they are not looking for any suspects, but we are asking the questions to find out who these people were, how they were related, and if investigators know of a motive. Reporting live in Phoenix, Vincent Bland in ABC 15, Arizona. Vinny, thank you.